I'm Claudia the Vet, pro player for Astrojack, also Claudia Girl, chip chain artist. I want to show you today tune-ups. We're going to tune VMAX. We're going to tune MX. These are the newest interchangeable. We're going to do pop and sport. And we're going to tune up aquas. So yeah, if you've never seen tuning before, this is interesting. This is, may help you. If you're just curious, you just want to know, then this is cool too. And uh, what you will be needing if you're going to do a VMAX tune, you will be needing one of these tools. If you do not have a tool, you can get this from usastrojacks.com website. It's uh, very helpful. It makes it easy. You're going to need that. If you don't have it, you can do it without it. It's just easier to, to have one. And for aqua string, you may need a lighter if the string gets messed up. So, I want to switch out this hyper frog and mix it in with these yellows. First off, you remove the cap, spin out the wheel. You get the one with the pin and you place the pin side up to remove the pin. And you get your shell and you snap it and turn it in place. And that keeps Make sure that the string is not in the way. Sometimes I put it in the way. It has to be in a groove so that way it's not caught anywhere. Okay, now spin it the opposite way. And what this is doing is it's pushing the pin out. So you want to do it upside down so you can catch the pin when it falls out. And just twist it all the way until it pin falls out. Okay, so now you place your pin somewhere where you won't lose it uh, unturn the opposite direction your wheel see that, so that screw can get out of the ball and now you have your ball is free out of the string so I remove the ball that I don't want. And now I'm going to do the same to the other set that I want to remove that one. Ball from. Now this is really easy to do. It's easier using the tool. I recommend buying the tool if you want to do modifications on your tuning for your VMAX sets. So there's another pin. Okay, so now <clears throat> I'm going to remove that blue. Okay, what I want to do is I want this green in between these two yellows. So that's what tuning is, is like you're removing the order and the color of the balls, placing them in your string. So put them in the order. I'm going to put the hyper frog, flip it in the string. Now I have the end. Slip the string in there. <laughs> now I'm going to get this pin. I'm going to place it inside the hole. You make sure that your string is sticking out slightly because you don't... I mean, you want it to be out a little bit, not too far. You don't want to mess with the, uh, the length of the string because that will do that. Push it in as you know, snug as you can, and for the rest, 
You can place it into your tool again. Just gonna think this way. Think this way. And instead of the pin side up, put the pin side down. Then you can close up your your shell thing. There you go. And tighten it. That's to tighten it just ever so more until you feel like it just can't go no more. That's all the way tight. You push the pin all the way. So put it back out. And there you go. And there you have it. The pin is in. Now I have these two. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to tune uh, aquas. These are glows. These are blue, but they're clear. These are the only ones I have right now. Okay, so these are slightly different to retune because of the way they are. They have water, they don't have weight, and they have a little ring, a little O-ring at the end holding the string. So when you remove the string, you can pull on the string. It pulls the O-ring right out. And then you put your bud and your ring to the side. There's a little ring. Now you make a knot at the end of the string and this is the only tricky part is you have to un undo that knot to remove your balls. I want to put a glow in the middle. So I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm going to pull out. Damn. Okay, now the reason that I have this lighter is because I want to show you this kind of problem. See what's happening with my string? It's like fraying out. So, there's a trick you do to fix that. I just have to remove this knot first. Now I got the ball out. Remove that ball. So I have my two glows, I have my two clears, and these are the balls with the strings. Okay, now this one, this string is having problems. As you can see, it's, it's well, it's turning, but it's also starting to fray. You see how, I don't know if you can see this fraying. So I'm going to use a lighter. Tell your, if you're a kid, tell your parents to do it. Don't play with lighters. I'm a grown-up, so I can do it. So anyway, I'm going to barely let the flame hit it. What's going to happen is it's going to melt the string into a wax, and it's going to fix that right up. You have to make sure that you... That will give it time to dry. That's how you fix that string. Or anything when it starts to fray. I think that I got it right there. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a clear and end it with a glow. Now you oh before you do not I always forget to do this. You put your O-ring first. Slip it into the string. Then you do your knot. I always forget to do that. And then once you have your knot in place, you grab your your bud place your string knot into that hole so that the string comes out. Let the o-ring slide down, push it down. So now I have these chains. Okay, now I want to show you the Emmet. Now MX, these are the sport and these are the pop. You can 
interchange them together. And they're pretty similar to the same method. The O-rings are slightly different. The O-rings are thinner on these MX sets. So don't try to use the O-ring for the aquas. But you can use the end buds. Okay, now here's the, the cool thing about these is that you can pull these out, right? You have one and you have another. And then this is the inside of that ball. Now, if you want to, you can change them up, change out the colors. of your MX's with other ones if you want to. Uh, you can even change them out with your sport. Let me do that. Let me change it with a sport. I never do that. Because I never do that. These are, there's a black, there's a blue, and there's a red. And I'm going to show you how to interchange your sports with your pops. It's the same thing, you just remove um, one side, remove the other. So I can put, I can make this one blue on one side and black on the other. Let's do that. And you twist it till they connect on the inside. It's like a puzzle that you can see where it you can see where it goes. And then you just snap them together, and that's it. It's done. So that's that one. And this one will change to the black. So that's, that's been changed and do the same with the other colors. So yeah, you want to grab both sides and kind of pry them open at the same time. That makes it easier. And have your two pieces. That's what the sport looks like. It's uh, very bouncy. So I'm going to remove uh, these, interchange a black and red. It's red on one side, black on one side. Do the same with this one. I'll make it red on one side, black on the other side. You know what? I'm going to make a sport. I never do it that way. Let me do something I never do. I'm going to put the black as the center. And it's going to be a Sport black. Oh my god, I never do that. Try to make your knot as far back as you can. And, oh. and then I'm going to put a different color and bud. Push the o-ring down over the end 
And there you have it. So I have turned my red, blue, black, black, black center sport. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And there you have it. Now I have this tune. Yes. I hope this helps you. If you like it, then please like it. Just, just click on like. Why don't you do that? Just like it. Don't not like it. Just like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs>